Hey guys, welcome back. It's another beautiful day. I'm Wendy Frisos Herbert. Ronnie. Enrique. Jonathan. And Herbert. Uh, we have uh, uh, Ramon, Ramon here. But, yeah, but what are we going to talk about today? Music. Um, we definitely know what we're going to talk about, but one of the topics is music, so. Wait, so what? Okay, there's a lot. Of, okay, I, I hear a lot of people like, you know, at the gym with music or with their headphones. Oh, that's a good way to start. Uh, running. Like, I know uh, Christina, I, I haven't asked her what music she's listening to, but she's always running with headphones on. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't run with headphones on, but when I do run by myself and I'm not running with anybody, uh, I basically try to listen to music. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like so, it gets me going. Right. So what type of music do you guys listen to when you guys work out? Uh, I, I, indie, like indie, indie rock, indie, like more like chill vibe. I don't know. I don't like the screen. I never got into screamo or like, you know how some people love that? Like yeah. energy metal. Like, like metal, rock. yeah. I don't know. Like I love rock. I, listen, I love rocks. Yeah, I listen to a lot of metal. Oh, uh, I'm uh, uh, mind you, metal. Uh, Ramon, since uh, you're a fan, Behemoth is gonna actually gonna be in town. September. They're gonna be in, playing in Ontario. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. So how much? What, the what's tickets? the band called again? Behemoth. Behemoth. Mm -hmm. How much? Do you like their newest album? Oh yeah, it's like a black and metal band. Uh, how much are the tickets for like those 80, concerts? Around eighty bucks. I think it's a death metal band. No. Yeah, yeah. They kind of go back and forth because their earlier music was like. Did you hear uh, his, his his side project uh, called uh, "Me and the Man"? Yeah, yeah. It's like kind of like country uh, rock. It's like so, country rock. Yeah, yeah it's cool. Okay, I love country. It's cool. I love. Okay, so I love everything though. Except I haven't got into metal. I haven't. I, I know probably Ramon hates me, but I haven't got into metal or rock. But I love country, rap, uh, Spanish music, uh, oldies, soul, hip hop. You know, you name it. I love everything. I don't know. There's some, I, there's sometimes some days that I want to find new music, and you guys know yeah. I like to find out like a lot of like yeah. Because after like a few months of listening to the same, you get bored. You get bored after a bit. And then and then I hate listening to the radio. The radio plays the same song. Well, it's just top one hundred stuff. That's what they play. Or it's sometimes not even top one hundred. They just play five songs and they no just no yeah yeah. I think I listened to the radio a while back and oh, tell me why they were playing the same music I like listened to back before I had like Spotify. <laughs> the same music that was on the radio 10 years ago, they're still playing that now. Mm -hmm. I, 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 like, I, can, I can attest to that because when, when I would drive to school back when I was in Mount Sac, I would listen to the radio sometimes for, for just because. And yeah, like 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 for an entire month, it was the exact same songs on like K-Rock and all these other radios. And I was like, damn, that was like one new song every once in a while. But for the most part, it was old songs, like old, great songs, good songs, but like the same ones. But mm -hmm. the songs back in the day, they're just, they hit different. Like oh, the music, yeah. the lyrics, like it was like jazz. Oh, jazz too. Jazz, like yeah, jazz. I used to play jazz band. Remember in middle That's school? That's right. You know what? I kind of like jazz. I go in back and forth and say like jazz is kind of lame, but some of it's kind of cool. It's like when you know when you're at a coffee shop and you're like studying. Like it's just the vibe. I do dude. instrumental music. Yeah. Yeah, or I just like to listen to what whatever they have playing. Yeah. And then when I went to Japan, like they just they're so into music and they love the like american culture like they love like mexican music over they have here. like chicano culture yeah they, they like no. chol they have like cholos over yeah. I, I didn't see any cholos but i know when i went to that bar and i told you guys i was listening to soul music dude they were like vibing dude they were making it seem like upbeat like i know Enrique said like it's not upbeat but they're making it seem did, like uh, when did you ever like tell people you're from la and that they're yeah going, oh dude they're God, so dude cool. they're so happy they're like man you came from la to see us like to like kick it yeah. with this well, and I was like, no, well, I was I, I was around and I follow you guys on Instagram. And I said, what's up to the guy that I follow on Instagram? He's like, what? He said that he comes to L.A. over here. But uh, I asked him because he has vinyls. So vinyls, I asked him, I was like, how much vinyls do you have in your inventory? And he has like 3,000, dude. 3,000. And mind you, some of these vinyls are so hard to get because there's only like fre uh, fresh uh, press, which is like only one time press that they did, like the artist, yeah. and those vinyls go for like a hundred dollars just one song. Yeah, eventually when I get my it's own place, I, I do plan on getting a vinyl and then a uh, vinyl player and then giving my own collection, having my own collection, dude, of classic stuff. Turntables. I've been talking to uh, Johnny, one of the runners that he runs with us, and turntable. I didn't know they go up to like a hundred thousand. There are three thousand. Thousand. Yeah, dude. There's some crazy ass or crazy vinyl uh record turntables out there. I know if you go to Target, you can find yourself like a hundred dollar one, which is like one I have that comes with the Bluetooth and the speakers. Mm -hmm. But those, dude, the the sometimes they mess up your records because they scratch up like the needle, and the needle is a thing that costs like the most. You know what I mean? Like the needle and also like the. Uh, what type of belt it runs like so it doesn't make that much noise because you don't want to get the static you want to get the hi-fi like the original sound like you want to almost make it seem like they're playing next to you that's so, the reason why since i don't have a record player do you is there a noticeable difference between let's say if you play something on the speakers and oh yeah 
Yeah, like, like I'm part. telling you, like, if you listen to even like stereo uh, headphones, I know we have headphones for the recording. It's like, it sounds like, you know how it sounds like you can hear a voice. It kind of sounds more clear or whatever's going on. But it's like, yeah, it just sounds different. Like, it's hard to explain. You have to just realize, like, it's almost like you had a concert with them. Yeah. So, um, because as a as child, like as you guys younger, like, what did like the first type of music that your parents introduced you to? Because that's the, the Mex- first time Mexican, you kind of like romanticas like get into music, like Mexicans, like uh, Mexican? romanticas, okay. like ninety eight point three, I think. Recuerdos. That's uh-huh. what they called. Oh, okay. Okay. I remember that. Yeah. Recuerdos. Mm, I, I wasn't exposed to radios when I was younger, but my parents' music and most of my dad's music was what was exposed to me i guess to tapes what was that though like or i don't know vicente fernandez which is just vicente, mexican music you know what i mean mm-hmm. but they had a, a bunch of their old like my dad even to this day will play songs that he'll say like in my time back when you were when you weren't even born he, he always says often like, you weren't even born and like 50 years ago 40 years this song was pop when i was in high school this song was how you get the yeah, girls my dad says the and same like thing. like he, he'll, he'll have stories for every song like this song with this one girl i'll tell you and my mom's there hitting him with the with the with something with the she's chanka. hitting him with the chanka hitting him because he's talking about his old days but what about you <laughs> Okay, so for me, um, oh, he grew up, he obviously, grew like, up, yeah. like cumbia is like colombianas, and oh, then, cool, yeah. um, actually, like American music was like popping, yeah. So, like, Kiss, the Beatles, like, the Beatles, all that, the doors, like, dude. I love the doors, rock. Yeah, doors are cool, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I, have, I, I, grew I, have, up, I have a I doors, the doors. My, my dad actually told me in, when he was in Salvador, they used to listen to like Elvis Presley, the Beatles, the oh, doors, shit. like, yeah. that, was pop, that was like their shit. Well, my, my dad, when he came to the, the state, you know, a while back, like, uh-huh. him and his brothers, because they all came together, like, at the, almost at the same time. They used to go to clubs and they all had afros like like their hair was like long and yeah. like and they used to like dance like rock and roll and stuff. You know what I mean? They'll be at the at the at the club. You know, it's crazy. My, Back my in- uncle had a mullet and, and, and to kind of just prove on what you guys are saying, all those bands you're talking about. I don't know why when I was younger and even to this day, like I still kind of feel it. I felt like a lot of those artists was only like for Americans. But when I was when I when I was in the military and I met people from all, all over the world, all these artists were known all over yeah, the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you would like like exactly how you said in, in El Salvador, they listen to the same people, and it's like that's crazy because I, I don't know why. I just assumed oh they don't know this. They they listen to whatever uh, that country listens to. My, but that's not true. Other countries listen to the same artists, the same. Well, cool people. it's like Michael Jackson, dude. Michael yeah. Jackson oh, hit oh, it, yeah. dude. Remember when he died? Well, you know what I mean, like R R I P. But like I remember Michael Jackson, like dude, everybody in the world, my, everybody, my boss, Bad was, Bunny, my boss is from Taiwan, and he told me the first time Michael Jackson came to Taiwan, the whole country knew about it. Like everybody yeah. was there. Like it was a massive concert. I have a I have yeah. a vinyl of the Thriller. Oh really? Yeah, I have yeah. he's oh, the nice. king of pop, 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 pop. pop. Yeah. dude. And but. Uh, Okay, so with music though, like a lot. Okay, so I like to listen I, when when I hear a new artist or, or someone coming up, like I don't know, let's say Bad Bunny, you, they're always they always get inspired by someone else, right? Like a uh, prior artist that hit, like hit whatever, whatever like mm-hmm. prior like you no know, ten years yeah, ago. Yeah, get have an influence. And okay. I remember like Bad Bunny said Daddy Yankee, and a lot of the R and B people, like because I love R and B too. A lot of the R and B is like Shade, dude. Shade, like you know, uh, operator, like uh, or so operator. Yeah. So that's no, smooth operator, smooth, smooth operator, operator. So, yeah, smooth operator. So that a lot of like the people like R and B, like Drake and they don't say it, but some of them are just influenced by them, because like the back, I don't know, like I said, like it's just different, you know what I mean? Now it's like changing like so fast, um, and I don't know right now what Peso Pluma, which is like he got known, <laughs> like Ron, yeah, uh, he blew it, like he everywhere, even in like other area, uh, other countries, like literally you go to you go somewhere else and they'll be playing Peso Pluma. Like you probably go to the country club and then might throw in a peso pluma in there for for fun. Yeah, actually, my brother was out. He showed me like a, he sent me a video because obviously he goes out and everything. But yeah, they were like playing peso pluma in Ecuador. Yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. crazy. <laughs> it's like, but music brings people together. Oh yeah, like for sure. straight up. Like I've seen like even like Koreans from like K-pop whatever sing Mexican music or English music. And they don't even understand the lyrics, or maybe they, they know that specific song, but they sing it in that in their proper language, and they sing it with like some beautiful, like like it sounds proper English or proper Spanish, like it sounds great, and that's not even their native language. But like again, music brings people together, and like it gets everyone going. So, what do you guys think about like covers though? Like when people start making covers, like sometimes they like. I, I think it's beautiful because they, they, they add a different better. tone. They, they uh, add a different tone to some it. Some are better. Johnny, some are- Johnny Cash is hurt. That's the way more popular than uh, Nine Inch Nails is hurt. I think it's Nine true. Inch Nails, yeah. See, I will say cover. Sometimes the cover song is better than the original. Yeah, like Some, like sometimes, there, sometimes. There's a lot of cover songs that I listen to that is also way better than the original. And I mean, for example, there's a there's this artist by the name of Taylor Swift. She does <laughs> a song Taylor called Swift. Blank Space, but there's a band called I Prevail. They did a cover of her. You know who it is? Okay. Yeah, so they did a cover of uh, Blank Space, and Blank Space cover sounds pretty cool. 
Damn. So, right. but Taylor Swift, though, Taylor Swift is another one. She's like, dude, her freaking tickets, bro. Her tickets are like a thousand plus, like the resale value. Now, everything's all about resale value, though. People buy and they like, up, you know, whatever. And they still sell out. It's crazy. And they still sell out. And people still pay that extra $700 to see Taylor Swift. Yeah. Like, it's <clears throat> insane. But it's like, uh, the cool part, like, when I want to go see Bruno Mars, like, a while back, it's like all ages, though. You know what I mean? It's mm. like, People take their families to like yeah. these concerts, and it feels like a, f it almost feels like a family reunion in there. That makes sense, like with all like your family just kicking it. Like Taylor Swift, I think they had all like all ages, and people were dressing up. It's like a whole thing, you know. You guys been to concerts, like they all dress up mm -hmm. like them or whatever. They all wear like the t shirt, and then the thing is like I remember like going to concerts like Bruno Mars, like they do like a special drop, like a merch. Dude, people go crazy with the merch. Mm, and then they have, too. dude, and it's expensive. And then they have like the wannabes outside. Have you ever seen the people selling oh, like yeah, the, yeah. the knockoffs? Like, hey, bro, like 10 Like bucks. my deals out there. Yeah. <laughs> <Some>. deal. <laughs> yeah, but it's um talking about, I don't know why, but I'm going to bring this up. I didn't know that uh, if you go to like uh, like a, uh, what is it, SoFi Stadium, like a football game, mm -hmm. like the, I, I heard of this, but now I know it's true. Because my cousin just went to the Raiders preseason one with the Rams. Mm -hmm. And the parking was 125 per car. 125, yeah. dude. I think we, we brought it what up last time. But I think they, they up it, too, for, like, big events like that, for sure. But why, though, dude? Like, 100? Can. They can. Well, I, I know they can. I understand. But it's like, dude, that's a lot. Rip off. That's like a ticket. That's Probably. No, not even a ticket. It's like a beer. The, <laughs> the, the NFL's parking is, like, 500 bucks. Oof. For like the the, the NFL, like the Super Bowl, like the, the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's what I mean. The Super Bowl. <laughs> I was like, bro, not the NFL. Not, not the NFL games, but the Super Bowl. Yeah, no. It's like expensive parking, which is crazy. Because I like, rather I rather Uber. Tell the Uber drop me off. Like I don't know. Like a I'll mile walk away. a mile. Like it's fine. I'll run a mile, bro. You can't walk in with anything anyway. So like, if you can bring snacks or whatever, then maybe bring a car. But you can't. You have to walk in like with nothing. So might as well walk a little bit. But there is a pregame though. There is a uh, tailgates that they do at the, at, mm. the at, at the parking lot. So I guess like if you're going with a group of friends, it's like 125, right? Divide a bit, you know, between five, and then you know we all take beers, I guess, and drink at the parking lot, pregame it, go inside, you're on a good one, and then you could just get one beer because beer is expensive everywhere. It's insane, like how the like the market. Like I remember a talk can. You could buy a 7-Eleven for like three bucks. It's like 20 bucks. You're like, bro, like, but it just feels different. You know, I guess it mm -hmm. survives. You're trying to have like a cold one in there. Uh, but yeah, like it's, it's insane. It's a good market, dude. We should just buy parking lots. We just <laughs> tear this whole place down. Dude, in, in LA, I was in LA recently um, and there's no parking there. There's no public parking there, I guess. And mm -hmm. most, I mean, there's some, but like most of it, you, it's like 20 bucks. But, like, anyone that goes to L.A., you have to pay for parking. That just sucks. Oh, yeah. That that feels illegal because it's, like... It's free. It should be free. But, like, it should be free because I, th at least some of it should be free because anywhere you go in L.A., you have to pay for parking. And, like, that's just kind of messed up because, like, dude, like, anywhere you go, you have to pay 20 bucks. Like, that's just crazy to me. But 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 you're there, so you have to... You have to, but like, if you live there, like, that's just hard. Cause even, even if you're hanging out with your friends every weekend or whatever, you have to pay for parking. It's like, damn, like, that's, that's just tough, dude. Like, yeah. I, don't know. I disagree with that, but I'm about it. It is what it is. I mean, I understand why and everything, but freaking Disneyland, dude. That back in the day when we used to go to Disneyland, we used to have the pass. I think uh, every pass you could pay for, like, the parking. Now, only the extreme, like, the expensive pass comes with the parking. Mm -hmm. Like, it's and then parking, it's expensive, like, 20 bucks or 30 bucks per day or something, you know. I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on. I think but we're in the wrong business. We I think we should parking. start just opening parking lots. I've always <laughs> said parking lot would be the way to go. Well, it's okay. low maintenance. Like, uh -huh. you literally don't need to hire anybody. And unless you wanna, it's like a really bad If you want to make it a high maintenance parking, you hire one security guard. Yeah. Which will be cheap and, and like, you promise safety. And that's it. And or that's it. you could uh, do valet parking too. Valet parking, like, you know, yeah. Tom to give but you That's the like keys. two employees plus security, three employees. But that's still worth it though, because three employees and, and for the money you make, that's that's good. But, but if you want to get a parking lot, guess what? Land costs a lot. In those places, like uh -huh. L.A., land is expensive, so you need land. But the profit will make it worth it. In the long run, I guess. But, yeah, we should. I think we should look into parking lots. I think we're going to start looking into parking lots. Batty parking lots. I see it. I see it in our future. <laughs> Imagine yeah, batty yeah. parking lot. We could host a batty runs off the parking lot. Yeah, just like come in, Like, we'll charge them for parking, and we'll have them run with us. And yeah. if, they, if they work out, 20 push-ups or whatever, then they get a discount. Like 10% off and shit. Who's writing this down? 
This is good. I think this the people, I think the listeners are gonna write it down. Dude, next thing, you, next thing you know, we have Kristen like working. We see like, other hacking groups like, oh, we're gonna open our own like uh, parking lot. Like, God damn it! <laughs> but but yeah, it's it's crazy. Yeah, that's why when I go to L.A. or even San Francisco, any city, I guess. Long Beach, Long Beach, Long Beach is kind of getting there because Long Beach is hard to find parking in downtown Long Beach. It's freaking hard. Like you have to like wait for a car to even come my out. my friends' houses. Even parking near their houses is hard, which is sucks. But I mean, it, it is what it is. But I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's. I, I mean, I think it's only going to get worse now. Because more people are driving? Because more people are driving. Yeah, I mean, no, but people get older. Like, and we have autonomous vehicles coming along, so like, like, like maybe humans, that'll reduce we traffic. Have, it's the only exponential growth. Like, we're always, like, going to grow, so it means more of everything. And there's uh, not a lot of parking. I mean, the parking lots are probably going to stay the same I mean, side. think about traffic <laughs> right now. It's bad. Like, in a couple years, it's going to well, be worse. LA, I was thinking about that, too. It's like, there's cars everywhere. Yeah, like school driving? started and like, oh my god! Oh, like yeah. traffic. Well, there's some oh, companies trying I to solve traffic. I hate students. Solve I hate traffic students. with like the tunnels underground, like or, an underground freeway. Oh, boring. Yeah, the boring company. So like, it, once they succeed in a couple of years, mm-hmm. that that will reduce traffic. But I'm I'm sure they're gonna charge for the underground. Oh, 100%. Like like I don't know, fast lane or whatever it's called. What's yeah. what's what, what's one you pay for? On the fast tra- freeway, fast, fast track, fast track. Fast track fast yeah, track. I never use this. So I never think about it. But well, but, I think a way. I mean, I've thought about this, but it's like if they up public transportation. That'll like kind of solve the problem in a sense. But that's not gonna happen. I know, I know it's not, but like yeah. that would, like if that's you go to like, wh- what is it's it? Do you go to Tokyo, right? right? Yeah, yeah or European countries. Like yeah. their public system is like can't pretty, take, pretty good. Can't you take a train all over Europe, dude? Right? Yeah, well, our trains suck. Like I know because you might they're, get they're stabbed. Slow. You might well, get stabbed. you might get stabbed too, and they're slow. <laughs> yeah. Like over there, they're quick and they're fast and they're clean and they're, I don't even, they they have food in there too. Sometimes they have like. It's 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 cool to be in Japan or in Europe. Like it's just awesome. And New York too. New York that's all that's all they do. They travel in Oh yeah, in New tra- York. Like yeah, that. take the train or you know, subway. And then uh but there is cases though in New York. I remember when I went, like you had to be careful cuz there there's always like a there's like a gate to get in. Um like here too, you know how there's like somewhat gates to get in. Um so there'll be like always like, you know, homeless chilling outside of the gate asking for money or playing guitar or whatever like there'll be some cool performances going on you know asking for money mm-hmm. uh but uh once you get through the gates you feel more safe because it's like it's always being watched there's always mm-hmm. like a not security but they have like a like inside like the um, ticket booth okay. so like if you need help so they're always watching it and there's cameras everywhere over there like in new york and in europe and over there like if you jump i guess if you jump over you'll be fine i guess if you do it once in a blue moon like if you forget but they're not gonna like you know, get you out, but it's like they pay attention to who's going in and out. In in New York, they have a similar system, but the walls or gates there are not that big. So, like, I think someone ran statistics on that, and it was like 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 forty percent of people that use that train or whatever just jump over the little fence. That's true. Which is a big number. So, like, only like half of the people are paying for that, but most people just end up cheating. Which I mean, it, it's hard to stop, but I mean, if it's easy access to cheat, then I guess it's easier for people to to cheat. So. Herbert's a cheater, no? I go. think Herbert's a cheater. No? I, wow. don't. no? I haven't <laughs> cheated since, haven't like, cheated? I don't know, since 2001. Since, since Calculus 1. But yeah. I heard that if you cheat once, you're always a cheater. That's, that's what I heard. I don't nah, know. Nah, once nah, a cheater, nah. always a cheater. That, that's what I heard, Herbert. Would you hear that? Um, if, if I cut hair once, does that make me a barber? Nah. Yeah, it does. Because you're going like, nah, nah, to be nah, wanting nah, to cut more hair. Shot. That's our next shirt. Nah, you see see what I did there? Nah, nah, nah. You can't. Like, once, because if you want to cut hair, you get, you get like, addicted to cutting hair. Uh, well, no. I mean, if I cut hair once, am I a barber? I don't know. I've don't always know. wanted to, you know, always thought was cool is like those people who know how to shave. Like, <laughs> what? Like, no, like those like professional shavers. shavers. What are they called? Are you talking barbers. about barbers? Like, barbers? Well, the ones that they do like the, with the. Yeah, with the straight razor. Yeah. And they, do they could cut you, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, blade. sure, but. Did you ever have you, because Ronnie has a magnificent beard. Did you ever go to like someone professional who like trimmed it and cleaned it? And like Actually, no, up. I haven't. It's, I do it myself. It's very soothing. Honestly, it's like yeah. a massage. Yeah. Like for men, that's like pedicure shit. Like yeah. it's, it's like similar to it's, that. Like it feels I've soothing. S- I've seen videos and it always looks so like relaxed. I had it done in the Middle East and I didn't even grow a facial hair, but I was like, bro, pretend like you're shaving and, and get it get it done. It was nice. <laughs> and it, honestly, it, I, 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 I got drowsy and I was fully awake. Like yeah. it, it just felt like a massage. Mm-hmm. I put the warm towel on. Like yeah. it, it just, I don't know. It just feels like a massage. So it's really cool. And then I, like when getting a haircut, it always smells like. Sometimes when they spray like the alcohol thing mm-hmm. at the end, yeah, like yeah. it smells good. Mm. Yeah, it oh, smell you, good. Yeah. you know what they do in the Middle East when they're done giving the haircut? They slap you. Bef- a- after they they spray the alcohol, 
they slap you in the back of the head. They actually do? Yeah. I mean, it's not like an aggressive like slap, but like it's-, no, it's no, They only did it to like the Marines, bro. Like, <laughs> like, it was, it Honestly, was a normal thing. Maybe, but it's just funny because like like they do it, but like they don't do it like in any malicious way. Like it's it's not insulting. It's it's just normal. Like it's, it's, it's it, it doesn't just hurt. See, I could just see Enrique say, do it again. Like do it again. they Harder. do it and, and, I, and, and I accidentally moan and it's like, oh, sorry. Bite like, your lip. He was getting a haircut every week, but no, it's, it's just cool though. Like the, <laughs> not even every day, bro. Mm-hmm. Or, or or they have this like like this little routine to tell you they're done. So they're like they'll like massage your shoulders with like you know knife hands or whatever with just like straight fingers. Mm-hmm. Like for th- two seconds, I just like and then they slap your head. Like like it's just it's just like a quick way to tell you they're done and like a, like a, I don't know it's supposed to be a quick massage but it's just funny because like look I enjoyed it at first I was like what the hell's going on no when should has, I fight this guy when he has get a chance you, you mentioned that and watch Indian videos of uh, Indian barbers doing that shit and they they mess you up no they sock you they slap no them see I don't know about they, all that they choke them I don't know about all that <laughs> no, no, I'm serious if it's soft like I, I think it's cool I think it's funny but yeah if it's like I don't want to get I don't like to get choked. I don't know if you guys like uh, to get I mean, you gotta try it. It's a thing. <laughs> you gotta try it. I have handcuffs if you want to have the full experience. No, never. Over there. But, uh, yeah. So, well, I do, so um, before we, like, move forward with another subject, um, talking about music though beforehand, I do want to point out that it's brought to my attention, like, a month or two ago by my brother. So, on Spotify, there's an artificial intelligence DJ that will play music from, I don't know, like, music that you've liked before. Um, music that you might like, and it, it just throws like new music at you, or like music that you played. And where's that? It actually, yeah. So if you go to the That's search bar, and if you go to the made for you little genre, because there's a bunch of genres in there, uh, there's gonna be one selection that just says DJ. See that's that's interesting. And he's gonna introduce himself. He's like, "Hey man, like it's DJ X. Like I'm already official yeah. DJ. I'm gonna play music that you like, that you might like. So like here, so check so- this artist out, and it's." Pretty awesome. So Spotify already does that, but not this, I guess, high level because they, they have like, if you like Bad Bunny, you can listen to a Bad Bunny radio where mm-hmm. the radio will have songs that are like Bad Bunny, but now with the AI, it's higher intelligence. So it'll really grasp everything you're listening to and create an average for it so that you really have a good variety wait, of wait, like... Wait. Would it be fun to play everyone's artificial DJ? Mm, I don't listen to music like that, so my, my probably won't be good. But, but we can, you guys but no, can. Yeah, honestly, honestly, guys, check it out. Um, and yeah, if he's playing music, you're not feeling the vibe, you can always switch it up. And he's like, okay, like, let me switch it up for you. And it's honestly, I like it. That, it's, that sounds cool. It's, it sounds like like the future, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get, hey. I didn't know about this. I'll yeah, no, it, definitely. Check, check it, out. it out, man. It's dope. But I, I you know, so that's one thing that uh, it's, it's awesome, you know? And uh, th- that's a way to get you, like, to listen to different music, though, Ronnie. Because, you know, like, before it was hard to find different music. You know what I mean? It was. Yeah. It's kind of like you had to go out of your way. Like I think Spotify. Um, not Spotify. What was that? Pa- Pandora. 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 Yeah. Pandora used to do that. Remember the radios? Yeah, they do. do. Remember the radio? Yeah, I, I just like a that, Bad Bunny. You'll just like select that. an artist or a song. Like a for yeah. you. Yeah. Or yeah. Related. And then you could like decline or did d- or just did like dub, um thumbs down and it will go to the next one. And oh it'll yeah. Never, you'll and skip never, it. Yeah, yeah. Never ever play that song it, again. It builds an, al- an an algorithm, but that's you being the. The guide and the AI one, it, it really listens to the song. It catches the genre, the tones, it and everything. Your, it gets your vibe like down. No, it really sad. does because because the AI actually listens to the Did music. You just break up. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> hey, sad you. boy, here's some songs for you. Are you questioning your sexuality? Stop. Some <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> ooh, oh, ooh, oh. <laughs> dun, dun. baby, I know you love me. No, <laughs> but, no but yeah, music. It's I don't know. I love music. Yeah, We're just like me, I I think if we didn't have music, I think we'll be a, it'll be boring. boring we world. wouldn't be friends. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, it would be a boring world. Froze driving. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. music is spiritual. That's why in churches, instead of just speaking certain things, they sing it because singing and music tends to bring people together and connect to the soul. I'm yeah. not bringing religion into this, but I'm saying how like it really does connect with the soul and like it really does. It's a different way to send a message, which is why songs connect to people so much. The entire world is stuck on music of all genres because. That's a good way to like connect to the soul and like really express I mean, feelings. That's why countries have national anthems. Well, they, they, but that's what I'm saying. Though. Like, it's, it's interesting. That's why karaoke is so big. Is, is it big? It's, it's pretty. It's big. an industry. Yeah, it's growing. It well, it's been. That's why. Uh, well, they do open. Uh, what is it? Open karaoke nights, right? There's this. Yeah. Oh, don't they have like this place that you you pay for it and you get a room with their friends and then they yeah. like yeah, it's uh, called Enrique's backyard. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, th- there's this other place <laughs> no, besides no, no, my not backyard in Long Beach. Juan. It's it's called Blind Donkey and oh, like I, the I, Blind I, yeah, that place dude. is cool and they have karaoke night sometimes and anybody can go up there. Like my friend, like, three of my friends already went up there 
they sang Bohemian Rhapsody or like whatever songs. Like you don't have to sound good. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Like it's just to have fun. Did you go? Up? No, I was too shy. But like, like it's cool to see my Bro. friends. Why are you always so shy? Okay, look. I, I've gone up to, as like a second voice to some one of my friends that went up there just to kind of because okay. some of your friends can go up okay, there. Okay, no, Enrique is a good backup. I, I experienced that myself last night. Back, backup singer. Like a backup singer. Oh, you guys a are singing? Voice. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah, wait, we wait, sang wait. karaoke. Yeah, like, wait, what, uh, what, what were we guys singing? I'm just curious. What's oh, on? okay, because like we're just hanging out. We're having a beer. And then this I've, guy was like, hey, we have karaoke. Like, come, like, what song do you want? And Enrique's like, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, Okay, like I'll do it, you know, like what's up? And they're like, oh, like I was like, okay, well, give me a song because I can't think right now. I couldn't let Ronnie sing alone. That, that look, I, I'm shy, but if, if one of my homies goes up there, I cannot let him do this by himself. To me, that feels like disrespectful. I have to go show up and be embarrassed with him. That's just my 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 virtue for it. And tell me why they chose La Chona. La Chona? Uh, and I was like singing La Chona, and then Enrique's yeah, like, give me a, yeah, hey, La Chona, then yeah, hey, La Chona, it was great. It was great. It. Wait, so they had a. They had a, like a screen, right? Yeah, With they the had words. like a microphone and everything. They had Cali- um, it was cool. California. I sang Hotel California. Hotel after California, that too. yeah, yeah, yeah. Guitar. I called it. It was a rap for me after that. Yeah. The whole song. That's a long song. That's a long song, man. Wait, and how, my voice is not pretty. How long? Well, is that? singing, I guess. How long is that song? It's like five, it's like five minutes. minutes, man. Oh shit! It's kind of slow though. So it was cool. I think I can sing well. I don't want to say good. Oh. I just need to know what. The song sounds like because I can't. I don't want to just read it all oh, yeah, yeah. To, with my intuition. Like I, I need to know how the how the volume is going up and down, the tones moving, mm-hmm. so that I can try to do that. I'm not saying it's gonna sound good, but if I just sing it out of my own mind, like it's just it's gonna be like a like a pill. <laughs> so like yeah, I, if I know what it sounds like, it so will sound be a lot go-to better. Go to karaoke song. Due, uh, due, due to my family, I know a couple a couple ones in Spanish because of family. But like I'm trying to learn a couple ones in English that like like no no like memorize them exactly so that I know when to when to pitch high and pitch low. Again, I'm not saying I'm good at it or it's gonna sound good, but at least I'll follow the tone of the song and it'll sound like the song compared to singing a song that it just sounds flat because you don't know the music it, of the song. If you were to yeah, if you were like put on the spot right now, like hey, you're gonna sing a song. What song is it gonna be? I'll, I'll pick like three Spanish ones, but okay. What song? song? Okay, well, which fool? one, fool? Oh damn, my dad picks them for me, but oh my god. Um, oh, well, let, let, hey, let me mention hey, one. Let me mention one. Okay, on so podcast? what's the one that came to mind right now? Go. I, okay, so the first one that came to mind was Vicente Fernandez, Acá entre nos, okay, or okay. Mujeres Divinas, or Mujeres mm-hmm. Divinas, a song about like like cherishing women. Um, there's what's this other one? Um. I mean, honestly, a couple of Bad Bunny, a couple like like a couple of the new ones, like like you just have fun with it. But I like think, like I think that, you, Johnny. That chakaron, chakaron. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> just saying, no, no. Uh, I'll probably sing a uh, "It's a Barbie World." No, uh, come on. Okay, well, Herbert, Herbert. I would love what, to what see you sing a soul song. No, like la, la vaca. Moon. Oh. La vaca. Moon. Mami is my vaca. Classic. Mm. Dude, people people dance to that, bro. I'm telling you, oh put God. that in it, like. You're at a party, bro. It's 10 o'clock. Everybody's there. Your tío, tía. Everybody's already on a good one. Your tías are drinking wine. I don't know why. But then your tíos are drinking like tequila. And then you put that song, bro. Everybody gets up. And then you put the freaking the uh, cab- tubo, Caballo tubo, Dorado. Tubo, tubo, tubo. Tubo. Dude, there's tubo. a couple songs in Spanish that are like just legendary. They're Dude. OG. There's like yeah. 20 of them. Vaca, and everybody tubo. knows them and everybody will dance to them. Yeah. Like it's just so fun. In English, like I, I need to know more English songs that I'm willing to sing. I know English, but like not... Yeah, wait, wait, what is a good uh, English song that gets everybody up and going? Like, I know, not Queens. The, I think Queens, everybody knows. And like, Bohemian Rhapsody is a fun song to just Queen. sing. But what's the one that is said? Mama. Like, the, like, instead of the Caballo Dorado, you know, you know the, caballo, the one that you do. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. There's, a, there's, there, a there's one, in, one. There's one in English. The, the, to the left, to the left, oh. to the right. Oh. To, not what's that the, called? I don't know the name of it. Yeah, but people play that song and that, that, that gets everybody going. Cause it's like you just follow whatever they're saying, you know. That's God now damn, boogie. The uh, what is it called? Now boogie something. No, no, no. Not, not doing to the left. No, not the nah, same song. Okay, the what period. is it? I don't know the name of it. Whatever, God but damn. but yeah, that song gets everybody moving. Mm. Like I think even at country clubs, I see it. You know what song came to mind? I don't know why, but uh, Sweet Caroline. Uh, Sweet Caroline. <laughs> yeah, like people like every time Sweet I'm under bar or something, Caroline. everybody goes crazy with that song. Yeah. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> 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 Wait, what's the song that they play uh, when their block bar is closing? It's closing. It's closing time. time, dude. That one also. Oh, that's so funny. I hear that in bars. Dude, yeah. all the time they play in Long Beach. It's I'll, like, all right, time to go. And guys. I already get the hell out of here. But uh, what, what's the one? Um, tra- tragos de amargo licor. Tragos de amargo licor. Dude, that's when you're already on a sick one. That one, if you listen to it, you, you got to drink. You got, you have to drink, yeah. like protein shakes and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet like, child of mine, Guns N' Roses. There yeah, there's go. a lot of there's a lot of cool songs out there. That it's 
But it's like uh, one thing uh, I was going to say, though, the day you guys went to that karaoke night. But the reason why is because before that we had Fabi. Dude, Fabi's we had leaving, a, bro. a farewell dinner for Fabi. our girl Fabi. She's leaving us. She's going to Colorado. Exactly where? Do you guys know? Oh, God. I forgot. Denver? I don't know. Somewhere in Colorado. Know. I just but know it's Colorado, man. I know uh, we're going to miss her, dude. I, I I was looking at at the chat, like, with her. Like, you know how sometimes like she would text us, like, hey, where are we meeting up? It was up? way back or what? Yeah, it was. Uh, I remember. Yeah, she met us. She. I think the first hike was Black Star. That's what Herbert said. But I know that she started running with us. That's how she started, like, hanging out with us. Like, I remember the first text. She was like, oh, where did we meet up? And mm-hmm. we said Fiendbinder Park. And yeah, that's that was a year ago when we started the running club. She started with the runs. Yeah, she didn't start with the hikes. No, no, she came. No, she came with the hike with us. And then she started with the black star, and then she constantly. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure it was the hikes and then the running. But but still, but running got more. uh, We we intimate, I guess. Yeah, we got to know her more. Know each other that way. And it's cool to always like I don't know like I always like you know when we used to hike a ton every weekend like last year I remember like. All of us will talk about this, like outside, like once we have, like we're done with the event. We said, like, how how's everything going? How's how was the event? And I remember it would be cool to like talk to others, right? Mm-hmm. I remember like Herbert will be talking to everybody, Ronnie, you'll go, and then I'll talk to everybody, and then Enrique. We'll like like to get to know er- get to know everybody. But then when it got too big, it's kind of hard, you know, because it's like like it you only have so so much limited time with someone because you're like hiking with them and you don't want to stop ba- you know what I mean? you want to keep it moving mm. but it's like at the top i remember like it'll be hard to get to know everybody you got to do ronnie's technique what is it yeah yeah hey i gotta tie my shoe keep yes going. there it is tie your and shoe then I'll man. Meet up someone else. and like, then you hey, connect with someone else oh hey how's it going yeah i remember i, I think people caught on to that already but like, is what like, it is, bro, we don't even it have works. Sho- we don't even have shoelaces <laughs> oh like, yeah no i just went down and i was like oh keep going <laughs> I, I literally t- have the little thing that you I have, like. I have a wedgie. Hold on. <laughs> I just, like, keep but going. no, yeah, I poured one out for my girl, Fabi, last night. So. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Fabi, dude, she, uh, ha- I think she's going to start running out there. I know Omar's out there, uh, Hike Revolution. So, I'm assuming they're going to, you know, start running out there. Gonna so, connect, yeah. you know, we ended up giving her from the baddies, like, uh, you know, some merch and a bucket hat. So, we do have the bucket hats. Uh, it was like a green olive one. And it says, once a baddie, always a baddie in the back. And I know Ronnie's crying, dude. Don't cry, Ronnie. It's fine. She'll come back. She, oh, maybe. But it, it's beautiful because she's going out there for family. Like, yeah, like that's it, true. it's for family. family it's for good first. reasons, you know. Family. So like, she, she's out there doing her business. So that, that that's beautiful. That's cool. She's in a. I think her daughter had twins, or oh, she did. Yeah, yeah, she had twins. So there she's gonna go. be with the twins, and um, I think they're gonna be future baddies and shit. Oh yeah. I think Herbert, right, Herbert? You think they're gonna be future baddies? When we reach our forties, of course. Yeah, the baddie bloodline does not stop. Once you, get, once you get the the bucket hat and the shirts, it'll, go, it'll pass down. Like once, yeah, once you get blessed by us, like you're it's done. In, it's in your DNA. Like you might get tatted, right, Chris? No, <laughs> Kristen's like tatted up for sure. There you go. But uh, I, oh yeah, Kristen's back though. Again, Kristen's just coming constant, and I think we're gonna. We might have lost Fabi, but we got Kristen back, baby. <laughs> and Soraya still still around. Oh hell yeah, senior baddies right there. <laughs> yeah. No. Well. Well. Okay. Kristen replaced. Uh, what's her name? Fabi? You're dead. Yeah. yeah. Nah, they, they, no one will replace Fabi, though, for sure. She'll come back. I think, um, I don't know. She never said she's going to come back. Did she tell you guys? She's, she know, she back, might come back to visit. You she's going to go to Slow, she said. Oh, yeah. What's Slow? San, San Luis, Luis Obispo. Obispo right. North. Which is close enough, I guess. But she'll, Hell she'll, no, it's well, far. Uh, enough, I said. So, like, to, compared to Colorado. But she'll visit and, like, you know, maybe hang out. Dude, are you guys down if she comes to Slow? Like, go. Yes. Go. I don't think I've been to Slow, so I would want to go just Actually, to visit. Actually, I want to go again. I stopped by on my way down from San Fran. It, it was cool. It was cool. I went to all the spots that you told me about. You did? Um, what place? It was like a little downtown area. Uh, the barbecue spot you told me about. Uh, fire fire Grill? Yes. Fire and then fire I was just like walking down a little downtown. Went to did, like the did bubble he, gum did he alley. Try the, did, oh, did he try the chai tip uh, sandwich? I did. Oh, yeah. was Honestly, those portions are ginormous, dude. Did he, did she, uh, did uh, you guys have like the salad, like chai tip salad or no? I'm just no, no, no. We yeah. just had the sandwiches and then like a basket of fries, which mind you, the basket of fries dude, is like. It's huge. Dude, it's like for a party of five. And it's not that expensive. No, I think I paid like was it, was 30 it, bucks. It was, it's always packed, but their service is fast. I yeah. don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, it was very fast. And then um, I have like, did you sit inside or outside? I sat outside. It was fresh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Dude, it's a cool town, bro. I've been to Slow and it's like, Enrique, you're missing out. Like straight up. Like you got to go. And Herbert, you got to go to Slow. I would want to go and explore more for sure. It, it's it's uh, beautiful. I think I would, I wish I would have gone to Cal Poly Slow. Because you know how there's a uh, Cal Poly Slow there? Something yeah. I do want to point out, though, is like I feel like a lot of people when they think about traveling, they only think of like going outside of the United States. But it's like, don't be afraid to travel inside of the United States. Like it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, there's a lot of beautiful places you can visit. 
that look just as pretty as the mountains in Iceland or whatever. Obviously, it doesn't compare, but like a lot of pretty places here in the United States, and it's cheaper if you only have a weekend or whatever. Yeah, so like do a little road trip. Don't be know. shy for a two-hour drive, eight-hour drive. Like, like make it happen or fly whatever. But like, it's it's worth it. It's fun. And, right. and put the baddies podcast on. We'll keep yeah, you company while us. you do that. Listen to the old podcast, the number one. The number ten, no, don't listen to the old ones. Yeah, it might be a little staticky, but it's okay. You I know, dude. It was COVID times. We didn't have work. We we're like unemployed. We we're trying to like we had COVID partly, like giving it to each other. No, I'm just saying. But um, Herbert, if I tell you right now. Where in the U.S. do you want to travel? Uh, like in the U.S. Yellowstone. Yellowstone? Yeah. That's a good... Have you never been there, huh? No. Oh, you should go there. Uh, mm-hmm. Ronnie, where do you want to go? Right now, if I tell you... Like, right now, if I, I'm buying you a ticket to the U.S. Or somewhere in the U.S. Where do you want to go? Miami. Oh, really? Miami? Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. you want to party hard, huh? I, it sounds fun. I want to go to Miami, man. All right. Ramon, where Ramon, would you go? Ramon, where do you want to go? I, I'm going to buy you a ticket right now. For alcohol, like whatever, you name it. Take me to Montana. Oh, hell oh. yeah. Dude, Yellowstone. He wants to go with you. There, Herbert. You guys could go on a date. There you go. Uh, Enrique? Enrique? Oh, I, I was thinking about you guys were talking. <laughs> but. Kuwait? I was like, bro, that's not the U.S. <laughs> um, damn. Like, right now, like, like, only one place. Don't, don't, don't ask you that. Main like, man, main make, make this choice, brother. I was thinking while you guys were talking, and, and I couldn't. And I couldn't. What's one thing that came to mind right now? Nothing, honestly. Like a city, state. Nothing. Because <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, okay, like... New York, Miami. I was like, like, oh, um, just like what? Just give me the one. capital, Sacramento. I no, was like, okay, not where? West Covina or anything like that. Do we uh, gotta call what? your dad too far? No, <laughs> I, like honestly, I'm I'm a lively spirit. I think anywhere with nice nature. No, no you gotta give us a place. You well, can't. So, okay, well, uh, so you gotta. I don't think I know enough to be honest. Well, what do you want? What do you what, want? What's a state that comes to mind? No, Texas. Te- I was about okay. to say, I was right. about to say Texas, Texas no, no, no. because of go. because of SpaceX and stuff. But okay. right, there you go, oh, Houston, my. Texas. Um, well, what do you want to get out of a trip? Yeah, like what do you want to do in a trip? Uh, like you want to try to. Like I'm, I'm a very energetic person, so when I travel, I don't want to sit still and like like if I go to Paris, I don't want to watch the tower for like three days in a row. Like that's exciting one day, but I would okay, want to move like somewhere. Okay, but like nature, like adventure I, I, or. Well, as a nerd, I, I know it sounds stupid, but I I think I honestly would be excited for like museums and stuff, or like the history for shit. Oh, hey, honestly, like, I DC. I think you like DC. That, that I, I was wanna, thinking about. What, have you been to DC? Yeah, I want to go. So I bad. went, but, but that's what I'm saying. I went back in like middle school. Oh, you like did the trip, Mr. Um, yeah, yeah. He had the the, the the DC trip, and I was like Lucky. one of them. I heard that the te- I think Monica went. And, uh, that during that time, and she yeah. said it was so human. Oh yeah, man, you were like sweating, huh? Yeah, it was crazy. And, uh, and speaking of Michael oh, Jackson, oh. early that's when he died. And when I was over there, I was like, "Fuck, <laughs> ruin my trip." Damn. How are the how are the monuments? Oh man, there's so much to see out there. Like I okay, honestly, so I was Enrique, done, I was there for like a week. I feel like I didn't have enough time. I think Enrique I would love it. I want to go there too. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I want to go everywhere. Like, no, because th- that's why I'm stuck. Because I would want to go everywhere. Like, honestly, it's on my bucket list to like travel to every state of the United States and find what's beautiful in that state. Mm-hmm. Whether it's nature, whether it's restaurants, whether Food, it's yeah. museums, whether whether wh- whatever makes that state precious. Like, I would want to find out, but I I don't I couldn't pick one right now because if you ask me in general, I'd probably pick um, Tennessee. No, 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 like outside <laughs> of the U.S., I'd probably pick Japan. I'd probably pick Iceland. I'd pick places that, like, are not in the U.S., but that doesn't, like, I know I advertise to stay in the I, U.S., but I have to do my research. Do you like San Francisco? Uh, yeah, it's cool. I've been there. So I I think uh, I want uh, Portland, like Seattle and all that. Oh, uh, Portland's cool. Like up north? Maryland? Like, Where Alexander oh, Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, feel like, I feel like going to those places is cool, but, dude, museums, though, like, they're awesome, but, like, they're like quick. I, I want to go to. The, I want to go to DC for sure. I've never been to DC. Mm-hmm. I've been to New York. I've been none that east, mm-hmm. like the other East Coast, but I haven't been to Miami or anything like I that. Go to Boston. Yeah. Boston, go to Boston too. too. I. I but I, when I go places, I want to also try the food. I don't know. I Harlem. Just, where's, where's Harlem? Is that Boston? That's like South New York. New York. Yeah, yeah it's one of the boroughs in New York. Yeah. Oh my God, why is thinking? That's South? when there was like a big party area, or whatever. Har- but like Harlem yeah. Shake. Oh, uh, was that the Harlem Shake? No, that's the song. But well, no, that's where it came from. No. No, well, that was uh, in some sense, yeah. but I mean, I, again, I don't know. For for the U.S., I feel like it would. I, I would bro- need to do research, but again, I would want to go to every state. I would start off with the closest ones because again, it's not about distance; it's about just exploring. So I would explore the nature there you and ne- everything there. You never went to Utah with this, huh? No, oh, Utah man. was cool. Utah was nice. I was in Missouri during winter, and 
it, it was beautiful to me only because I experienced snow for the first time where like it was soft snow. Like he, here where I experienced snow, it's usually hard snow because it's already dry or whatever. Oh, but you love I experienced hard. soft snow in Missouri. And to me, I was like a little kid making a snowman in the, in the snow. It was soft snow. The snow was soft. But like besides that, but I, I was in a base, in a military base. So like Missouri was a horrible experience for me. It was everyone called it misery. Because misery, misery. misery. It, it was a horrible place to be. But I mean... I, I still want to experience more. I just haven't had the time or money for it. So, but I'm about to in the next we year. We will. We will. So, Andrew, so once I worry. make that ne- next year, I'll be able to do more. But I feel like to, I'm going to end it with this. Uh, everybody, because I travel, well, I, we all travel a lot, but it's kind of hard to pick a place, like my favorite place. You know what I mean? It's like hard to say like, oh, this is my favorite place because every place has, like Enrique said, like their it's, their beauty, you know, like whatever, like the history behind it. You know what I mean? Like it's just what brings us all together so it's kind of hard to say so whenever someone asks me like what's your favorite national park i don't i don't know dude they're all beautiful right like i don't yeah. know but but yellowstone you do see are not a lot of uh wildlife a ton like yeah. buffalo bro i never seen a freaking buffalo walking next to me while i'm driving bro like, whoa and oh, it, i've been to alaska oh yeah oh, yeah. yeah i, I saw gold alaska. eagles or sorry gold eagles <laughs> Bald eagles, okay, they're, said gold. they're gold, bro. <laughs> bald, bald eagles. Sorry, I saw. I saw. Sir, um, I, saw I saw a nest. I saw some black bears, which I haven't seen before, because here where I live, we've only seen brown bears. But I saw black bears, and it was crazy because I saw gold a, 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 a what is it? A cub? I guess a baby. Um, and I was super close to it, and I like for three seconds, I was like, "Oh, that's cute." And then this, immediately after that, I, I felt immediately in danger because wherever there's a baby, there's a mom. So I, and then the mom was nearby and, and me and like 15 people just ran away from the baby because we were like, nah, that, that mom bear ran straight for her baby. And we weren't, even, we were like 30 feet away. We weren't even, I mean, that's close, but it wasn't like and extremely super close. Bears are fast. But the baby, the, the mom was, was, was about defending, which look, I respect that. But like, it was just really <laughs> cool. I think they say to never turn your back on a bear. Never turn your back on any animal, to be honest. Well, on, even on her, her well, reality. humans. Uh, don't they also call uh, hairy guys bears? I don't Stop. turn my back on those two. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, uh, bears are dangerous. Be careful. Here, the bears are kind of friendly ish, but be careful. Always, what is it called? Uh, act like you're big, you know, like bigger than them, I guess. That's last resort. But yes, do what you can, make Run noise, and, yeah. and try to not flinch. Start roasting them. <laughs> most Talking animals. Shit to the bear. Look, hey, you're not down, dude. It's interesting, but most, you don't have honey. most animals. Then, what's the. He was down. The next, like, <laughs> the next, <laughs> the next slide. <laughs> You're on the floor. Fuck. But look, look, listen, listen. Most animals will charge at you, but if you stand your ground and act tough, they'll stop. They'll before still they beat charge. you up. No, they'll, they'll <laughs> stop before they charge. Because, like, you have to show intimidation. If you show weakness and, like, flinch and, like, try to run away. That's just enticing them. That's just encouraging them that like, oh, this is easy prey because they're showing weakness. But if you stand your ground, most of the time they'll stop. Look, because this is all last resort. Obviously, if you're in that, in that situation, like you are, you're already in danger. So like you might as well do the best that you can do because I've seen a lot of videos where like people just stand up to bears that are charging and they just roar and they, they stand still. They stand where they're standing and if they take one step forward to show aggression and the animal will just pull back. And because they, they're no longer interested in you, they'll walk away. But that, that's the scary part. They walk away. They walk away slowly. They don't run away. They walk away, which is interesting because that, that still scares you. But you have to just stand your ground. And but, Labor Day weekend is coming around. Please, guys, do not drink and drive. Because, you know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of, what is it called? Uh, checkpoints. Che- yeah, I call them retens. That's in Spanish. But <laughs> There's a lot of checkpoints. And, you know, you got to tell your tios and tias, like, you know, for sure. Stay away, but do not drink and drive. Please Uber it. How much is Uber, Ronnie? You, know, I, don't know, I don't know. Here around, like 10 bucks? Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends. But it, it's, better, it's better than, like, I think it's right now, uh, DUI costs like 10000 or $15,000. Just like the price. It's, well, it stays on your record. That, that That's a lot of money, though. To, and it stays on your record, and it just looks bad. So please. it's hard because you can't drive and stuff. I have an uncle that has like three DUIs. Oh, She's shit. an idiot. It wasn't anything yeah. aggressive. No one died, thankfully. Yeah. And I don't think he was like stupidly drunk. He was just like drunk. Like enough. Like, I mean, and good enough to drive, I guess, let's say. Like he didn't commit any crazy cr- crime, but enough for him to get pulled over and like get a DUI. And like, again, that's I, I don't approve that. Like I tell him, I like, do stop drinking and driving. Like, that's not good. But yeah, but his his. He's struggling in life with jobs, with driving, with anything that has to do with anything that you love or you want to approach or goals in your life. DUIs will mess you up, dude. Yeah. So please 
Labor Day weekend, have a good time. Be Barbe- safe out there, guys. Barbecue with your friends and family and uh, tell them that, we, that the baddies love them because we always love families and friends and stuff like that. Stay tuned. Um, we are going to have a wiffle ball tournament. I'm going to say it now. September 24th. Is that the Sunday, guys? September 24th? Let me check Dude, this calendar. Like three weeks from now. Yeah, so September 24th is a Sunday. No, it's not three weeks. It's like... Uh, four it's weeks. Like four weeks. But September twenty fourth, we're gonna have a wiffle ball tournament. We're gonna be posting it on the baddies. Uh, uh, what is it called? Post on the Instagram. And yeah, I hope you guys could join. Bring your kids and family because we're gonna have a great time. And we're gonna wear a sunblock because the sun's gonna be beaming at us. But it's gonna be fun. I hope all of us could join here. Maybe Ramon. I don't know if he has his. He works that day. But September twenty fourth. Put it on your calendars right now. Wiffle ball tournament with the baddies is gonna be fun. And stay tuned for some night hikes because we are going to be bringing back the night hikes and we're going to have something cool in October. So if you keep listening to us, you'll know. And maybe a giveaway because I want to give it. We have some stuff to give away. So sooner than later, I'll talk to the boys here. Uh, I know Herbert's sleepy. I don't know why he always gets sleepy at the very end of the podcast. But this is an audio podcast. They don't know. Oh, so someone oh I thought it was a video, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening, though. We have the Instagram reels. We have the TikTok for uh, fitness, uh, like, you know, tips. And then we have the podcast in Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. And if you want any merch, such as shirts or even big knees or bucket hats, let me know. Send us a DM in the Instagram, and we'll get in touch. All right, thank you, guys. Love you.